everybody. Welcome to Ed and MTG Head to Head. My name is Chad. And I'm Willie, aka Big Willie. I thought that today, since Corset 2021 releases this Friday, that we would crack some boxes open and just see who gets the better box. You ready? Let's do it. Let's crack some packs. All right, so you ready, Willie? Oh yeah, let's get it. All right, I'm ready, Willie? Let's see what's gonna happen. I know you got a rich one. Oh yeah, I got it. <laughs> All the time, every time. Every time. That's just me. <laughs> Baron. Got a card, brush taunter. This card's looking to see play. This guy that uh when he enters you bounce something. Oh yeah. If you replay your own thing. Uh there's not any super crazy uncommons in mine. I'm a big fan of Baron. Um of course, you know, I'm a Urza Saga baby. So <laughs> Right, right. You know, so every everything to do with Larry and Academy and all that, like, man. Yeah, 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 for sure. I wish I was, like, not an infant when all those stuff came out. Got a Fable Passage. Ooh, Fable Passage is a good one. Want to see mine? What's up? <laughs> oh, it's, it's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap. All right, cut it. We're done. <laughs> you want. It's a wrap. <laughs> we don't need to do anything else. Uh, yeah, so that's the full art foil uh, to Fairy Master of Time. Yeah, and, uh, yeah, you, you might as well leave that there. Like, yeah, you, 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 you the one. Yeah, I don't want to put cards on top you, of it. You the one. Like, I, <laughs> okay. <laughs> I like that face feathers is in the set. That's really cool. Oh, yeah. What do you think of the new shrines? The shrines, uh, they had to make them legendary, right? Like, yes. Yeah. That's, that's the that's the problem with them is they're just so good in multiples. Um, oh, yeah. I think, like, five-color EDH decks could probably just swing them. Uh... Terror of the Peaks is like some some non-zero amount. Oh yeah. Uh, um, you got Vito, um, Thorn of the Dust Rose. Yeah, of course, he's the. Um, is it Sanguine Bond? Um, no, no, no. Um, exquisite, what's blood. exquisite Blood. Yeah. Yeah. So seen... it's uh, people are freaking out because that's all combo and EDH. Half of your combo can be in your command zone. Oh yeah. Black Tutor's better than anything else in EDH for sure. Yep. Speaking of which, probably gonna see Grim Tutor. I hope so. I hope on my side. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, but. Oh yeah, so we have some really cool basics in the set. I'm just gonna flash that really quick. Um, they're not, unless you get a foil, they're not really anything crazy. Uh, Nine Lives is one of those solemnity combo cards. Uh, yeah. I think the card's terrible otherwise, but. Conspicuous Snoop. Ooh, okay, that's a good that's one. Gonna that's gonna see some one. play in, um, in Modern. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. I love they they have uh, like any cards that have the Planeswalkers name so Grooks whatever Teferi's whatever uh, Basri they have alternate art uh, variations of oh yeah cards, which is really cool uh, I'm just saying how that was just vanilla with no text I love like, that it's vanilla with no text I think talking. it should have just had big capital letters on there roar <laughs> <laughs> right, we have a Rada Heart of the Tell. I don't think that's anything super crazy. Of course, every card I set down is like right next to the Teferi, right? So they, yeah, every, so I, I mean, like every card like, looks oh, like crap yeah. compared to it. You know? Like they, they don't. Look Demonic super. embrace. That's the enchantment. Right? Yeah, that's the enchantment. You can cast it from your graveyard. If oh yeah. Stuff. Yeah, I got destroyed by that at uh, one of the pre-release events. I mean, you can just re keep recasting it. Got Bosley Emblem. Maybe that's signs of things to come. Uh, Sporeway of Weaver. A good uh, anti like green blue flash card. Has hexproof for blue. Signs of I'm still looking for my first mythic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, speak of the devil. Oh, <laughs> oh, Bosri <laughs> Cat. Nice. Fuller Bosri. Yep. Good stuff. Unfortunately, not as not as shiny and <laughs> <laughs> blinding as Look, yours. Okay, if Teferi's the only thing in my box, you could still pull like a full art foil Ugin and this is over. Like, that, oh yeah, that yeah, that's like, like hundred fifty dollars. Yeah. <laughs> All right, oh my goodness, these uh, these Japanese packs are much harder to open. Yes, they are. A little extra space. Then have a little pull tab. I don't hate this guy. This is the guy, uh, 
other creatures, he's not particularly expensive or anything, but his other creatures get minus one, minus one, and he's a human, which is yeah. always, like, randomly relevant for modern, right? Oh, yeah. I got, um, Sabbot. Nice, solid. EDH staple. Yeah, always solid. Can't, can't go wrong. You how really you, can't. How do you feel about that artwork? I, I like the um the full art artwork of that one. I haven't even seen the full oh, art. Oh, the full art one. I it's all hot. I've heard is like people talking bad about that one. <laughs> it's hot. The full art one is just real is, is real cool. All right. Got the cat token. Cat token's awesome. Uh, yeah, it does. It reminds me of like Miri. Uh so we have temples. Uh not not my preferred land cycle to be in the set. I I don't know what their obsession with keeping temples in standard is. I wish I'd have brought back checklands. I know. Like, that's yeah. that's what I would have hoped. I need my for. dragon skull summits and my. We got the um, idol of um, endurance. That's the whole. Um, it's like what's his face? Oh. Like Loris, kind of. Oh, okay. Except yeah. not as. It's not gonna get banned yeah. or ratted immediately. Yeah. Yeah. Not as hot. Um, we also got a fairy's tutelage. Oh, that's yeah. a good one. In the that card gets showcase. insane in multiples very fast. Oh my goodness! Yeah, I'm I've got I'm trying to get a foil one for my EDH. <laughs> Speaker of the heavens, nothing too exciting. Just makes a four four angel. I actually like Speaker of the heavens. Yeah. I think there's going to be some fringe, either mono white or um. Black, white, aristocrats. Well, you still have, you still have pride main standard, right? Yes. Like that's the, that's yeah. the big thing. You still have pride main standard, and it's all the just... dudes that whenever something ETBs, you gain a life. Temple. Nice. I mean, that's arguably one of the most important in standard right now because yeah. of all the Euro ramp decks. And... Yeah. Oh, we got Tormod's Crypt back in back in the mix. We also have Containment Priest in this set. Yes. I mean. Gosh, that was needed in standard to fight Euro so bad. Tame and Priest, I was surprised that even like came the standard of everything. That's the plans, I was showing all the kind of alternate art. Uh, I have not pulled one of them yet either. <laughs> <laughs> we no, got a like Shackle Geist. 50 cents a piece, they're nothing too crazy. It's, I, I'm, I'm, Eh, with Shackle Geist, it's uh, not like it's a two two for two. Any any spirit is yeah. kind of the thing too in modern. Like yeah, I mean like it'll see play in modern just because of the fact that it's a spirit and it's you know yeah. Uh, we have a Bosri's lieutenant. So they're they're doing this thing with white where they're doing more of like a strength and numbers theme and then making black white the life game thing because life game's never really been strong enough to even be a color mechanic. That's yeah. the problem. <laughs> it's like. Oh yeah. They keep trying to force white into that wheelhouse and it's, that's why it never sees play. Here we go, this is the Showcase Island. Ooh, nice, I haven't gotten that one yet. Yeah, so finally nice. got one. <laughs> so we're missing Forest and Mountain. <laughs> yep. We got a Chandra's Incinerator. This card I've seen do some work um, on um, Arena. Saw a mono red deck that just like played it on like turn three. Foil, hard fire. For one. Man. <laughs> like, yeah, it, it's pretty fantastic. <laughs> Thieves Guild Enforcer. It's kind of just a, a rogue theme card, which I imagine is there more for draft than anything else. I, don't, I haven't looked at the rogues in standard or anything. There's quite a bit, and um, you can play like the um, Blue Black Flash. And we still have Ravnica in standard, right? Yeah. So I'm sure there's tons of like Demir rogues or yeah. something. We got um also Liliana Stewart. Yeah. Everyone was tripping about like how like the purple the, the all the black showcase cards are purple. <laughs> <laughs> They're like it's with purple. When did they make that color of magic? No. Oh, it's, there's the it's forest. Just, so now yeah. we're just missing the mountain. I mean, we can get rid of white and magic at any point and just add another color since they just refuse to make white good in any capacity. <laughs> um, unless it's to fairy, unless it's a blue white to fairy. Um, there was Niambi. Uh, it's cool, cute little flash card. Uh, blue White's trying to like return stuff to your hand in this. Uh oh, speaking of your boy. Ooh. Containment Priest. Containment <laughs> Priest. Awesome. Yeah. Foil. Yeah, that's that's a good one. Also, Massacre Worm. Oh, okay. He's back. <laughs> what a great pack. <laughs> yeah. I oh, know. <laughs> awesome. Awesome. 
Still not as good as that Teferi pack, but hey, it's, it's, it's I think good there. It's what, good what if I had since the Teferi? I think Terror of the Peaks is like some non-zero amount, but I have, I have Barons also. Yeah. Something, but I, I think you're... Might be getting close to catching up. Oh, I don't know. That's a fairy. <laughs> I, don't like, know the price I, 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 I got a feeling that yeah. a fairy's price tag is up there, especially with the borderless and you, everything. What are you and talking it's foil. about? What does this card even do? It activates on your opponent's turn. Who even needs that? You know? <laughs> it's not even good. Ooh, okay. Sublime Epiphany. This is this card is looking to be your cryptic command replacement. I've actually already seen people in the early access event playing this card on Arena, and uh, it's the one that it does. Oh you yeah, you could choose one. Or, yeah, yeah. It's a cryptic, <laughs> it's a cryptic command, but you could choose every mode, right? Yeah. We got Ghostly Pilfer, another rogue. Um, does stuff when you untap it. And you can pay mana to draw a card. Discard to make it unblockable. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. I don't want it that's pre release. It was put in work to drawing cards for sure. Let's see. Here's my last one. There it is. Mall. So there's your shrine payoff. Uh, it's the five color card. Searches out other shrines, yeah? Yeah. And you know they also work with the Hondans too. From, um, what you call it? Um, Kamigawa? Yes. Was that what those were from? Yeah. Oh. Because the Hondans are shrines as well. I did not even so realize that. So now there's a total of 11 shrines and... Oh, like okay. yeah, that that actually changes, <laughs> changes how I view all. That's that. actually why they brought Hondans back in um in Arena. Oh, okay. yeah. Gadrick the um Crown Surge. I I want to see this do work. What is what does he do? It's a three mana five four. Um, it's flying, and at the end of turn, uh, for like each creature that died, you get a treasure token, but it can't attack unless there's four treasures out in, in the field. Well, four more artifacts. Yeah, four more artifacts. Yeah, we, yeah. We can get there pretty quick. Yeah, I believe that's gonna huh. that's gonna do something in some fringe out of nowhere deck. Right. See, playing some random Doretti list immediately. Oh yeah. Oh, put my tokens in the wrong this fiery emancipation. Uh, I think it was LSV who said uh, that in a set review he undervalued this card. Uh, I was watching him play recently. Uh, it's essentially the, uh, it's essentially better, what's that guy's name, Torbram? Yeah. Yeah, it deals triple instead of double. Yeah, right? yeah. Straight up triple look damage. At, look at this uncommon pack for draft, dude. Ugh. Unsubstantiate face, face <laughs> fetters. <laughs> nice. A little bit of everything. Yeah, another containment priest. Nice. Still regular art. Yeah, I saw someone pull the full art the other day. It's gorgeous. Man, so this Sanctum of Tranquil Light. Yeah. Don't underestimate it. I don't <laughs> even, understand any yeah, of them. Like, even with it sitting there saying, oh, it costs six to play. No, it actually costs five to use because you have one shrine out for itself. Yeah. Counts for itself. So oh. it's five to use. And I've watched the red one go off. I, I, I went at the pre-release. That's That won me a couple games. Just having it out turn yeah. one. And then I was like, oh, I'm land flooded. But I've got like Ooh. 10 mana. Tap your two guys. Foil, modern, playable, radiant tongue. <laughs> <laughs> She's playing annual tongue. Already. Uh, glorious anthems back. Just creatures get plus one, plus one. It's where the word anthem comes from. Yep. Temple. Gross. <laughs> yeah. I really, I'm, I'm super not excited about about temples and that being their standard kind of cycle that's always there, the new one. Oh, yeah. Because it was check lands, like, right? Like, that was the yeah. old M10 through, like, M whatever. It was just check, check lands. Check lands, everywhere. and then, yeah. This is the um, Chandra frame. Uh, yeah, I love And it's actually the same, isn't it the same frame as the um, signature, Spellbook? Signature yeah. Spellbook Chandra? Yeah. yeah. So, something that may or may not know. I don't know if I've seen this card. Sibira? Three mana two three with haste. Okay, little dudes can't be blocked, pretty much. And you can discard your hand and deal damage to a player to draw cards. Alright. I mean it's a legendary for red, which can always be something. She's probably not nothing now. Yeah. But I think she'll be something come like 
the, the, the new human EDH deck too. I mean, I just realized she is a human, and yeah, you get to play Generals Enforcer, which makes your legendary humans indestructible. Yeah. So all right, there's probably something there. Feline Sovereign, the Cat Lord, yeah, which is immensely well. Like I, I wouldn't say immensely better than Dog Lord, but I've seen the cat. Uh, I've seen like cats versus dogs happen, and cats. Clearly, you're better. Right. I mean, you get isn't like you get like Fleece Man Lion and like yeah, yeah you get a hero. Yeah, <laughs> Regal Caracal. Yeah, which is a lord. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. Yeah. If you go. Yeah. There's there's too many cat lords. There's not enough dog lords. Okay. We we got another mythic here. I don't know if you've heard of this one. This one's Chandra. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, she's, she's pretty sweet. Uh, she can just shock something if you're not into using her other effect, which is discard your hand, exile the top three, and you may cast cards exiled this way. So. Speaking of um, cats and dogs, we got the Animal Sanctuary, ah. which that's going to definitely see play in Animal Lives Matter decks. Yeah, all you your, all your uh, bio box yeah. Uh, promo. Yeah, you everyone who's somewhere. running on, what, um, Ren and Siri? Yeah. Yeah. I just, people say, uh, Rin and Stimpy that's every time, so. Mm -hmm. that's, that's all I've actually ever worn the card from. Sweet Goblin Wizard Prowls token. Okay. You, you oh, wanna, you wanna oh, oh, I was just gonna say, I got, I got Dog Lord. Oh, okay, <laughs> we got the, the, Lord, the Dog Lord, <laughs> Lord, and we have the land. Uh, so Rune Halo, amazing reprint, right? Yeah. Uh, really good. Sees like fringe modern sideboard play. And then uh, I don't know if y'all heard of this card. This is a foil masker worm. Uh <laughs> <laughs> There's your masker worm you asked for earlier. Yeah. You, you totally was like, hey, I need a masker worm. There you go. You I'm, got it. <laughs> I'm, I'm into it. Ooh, eliminates a really good removal spell. Uh, I destroy love target eliminate. three mana to fairy or a creature that's small. That's pretty yeah. Cool. <laughs> Destroy Bastery. Um, what Narset. Are three yeah, Narset. Yeah. Uh, three mana Ashiok if they pull it out of their board. Mm hmm. Let's see. All right. Maze Mind Tome. Just a little draw engine. Gain a little bit of life. I've seen people talking about this card. Primal Might. It's a good finisher. Was that? Is that one of those. Uh, Draft chaff rares. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, plus X, plus X, you fight a guy, you know, it's... Yeah. You have to think, they put, they put like, X amount of rares in every single set that are just yeah. made to be drafted. Rewind rares. is back. Their rewind was, uh, is terrifying to me. Because, like, blue-white flash is already a deck. Yeah. Or blue-green blue, blue -green flash. Yeah. And, and rewind just slots in. You 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 can rewind their spell and then cast your night pack ambusher. Absolutely, and like it's it's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> it's so gross. How dare they? All right. We have a foil indulging patrician. So if you're doing your like I said, black white kind of became the de facto I numbers. I love yeah. the art on that car. Oh yeah. The it art, is. Oh is my goodness! Like the art on that one alone is just. Foil scavenging goose. Ooh. Yeah, he's back. Yeah. 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 I, I like they went back to Corset having a lot of cards that just uh, deal with stuff. Like Containment Priest deals with stuff. Scavenging Goose deals with stuff. So yes. It's kind of what Corset needs to be is just an uh, all around set that can deal with anything. One of my favorite cards from this set, though Mangara the Diplomat. Oh, so this is a new Mangara. Yes, so. That's the new Mangara. The glow up is real. Like, dude is. So okay. anti, hey, look, you're attacking me with stuff? Yeah. Cool, I draw cards. Hey, you cast two spells in your turn? Cool, I draw cards. Got and he's a two more lifely. Cat token legendary. Makes cat tokens and does some other stuff. Nothing, nothing too fancy. I mean, that, that pack was for sure all about there. Man, I am so far behind. <laughs> I'm just looking, I'm like, uh, I believe I am... We we got we got a little bit to go. <laughs> oh man, I, I'll let you go first. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I just got this hooded blight bang. It's nothing. It's death touch matters. Yeah. Um, like he, he 
play Death Touch Tribal. Um, so we have uh, Pure Into the Abyss, which is an interesting card. Um, it's basically target player uh, draws e cards equal to half the number of uh, cards in their library. So you draw half your library and you lose half your life. You can use it for yourself or your opponent, right? Combo um, that with that Teferi's too. We have full art scavenging is. Oh, see what? <laughs> what? <laughs> that box is hot! <laughs> <laughs> that box is on fire! <laughs> Look, I, oh let, my I let you choose. <laughs> you did let me choose. You did. You were you were absolutely right. This is unheard I, of, I by chose, the way. I, if I look, chose wrong. If look, if Willie had paid an entry fee for a draft, this bo his box would be way hotter than anyone else's. This dude pulls <laughs> this dude pulls invocation thought seizes and like I've I can't even count the like this is this is honestly like years of good karma for you just like you're sitting across from me it's just emanating and i'm getting <laughs> i'm getting every, getting that. all of your luck dude i got another scavenging ooze all right it, it's not much but i did get this this hot little song Ooh, okay so that's the other yeah art that's right? the other art Ooh, yeah. i do like that one that's that one's very uh like terminator <laughs> oh my goodness kind of the, it's hot. The i love it off of them. uh we got a temple so nothing exciting I'm just going to keep talking trash about temples. <laughs> oh, Viren Wingmare, I did not realize, was downgraded to Uncommon. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Cool. So we have our little Thalia Guardian of Thraven effect on a flyer. Yeah. Here's um a card that Mono Red is going to be. So you're going to see a lot of in Mono Red. Oh, it's... The Shonda Spiraling. Yeah, if you deal yeah. non combat damage, you get double strike. And yeah, and plus one, plus zero double strike. And it's just like, oh, it slots like easily into the... um, What's that? Um... That enchantment, that super mono red enchantment that all your one power guys deal one damage whenever you attack. Oh. <laughs> Cavalcade of Calamity. Yeah, you're just yeah. like Cavalcade. Okay. Attack with like three guys. So ping, ping, ping. That's the Bosri's Lieutenant we pulled earlier. And that's so you can kind of see a reference of you can get the regular one or the alternate art kind of versions within the same box. Um, a, lot of, a lot of these two you can guarantee by purchasing collector packs. Because um, the collector's packs have like X amount of guaranteed alternate arts and then the full art uncommons and hmm. basics probably. Foil Shock. Okay. Oh, and they went back to the old art. Yeah. Nice. And then we also got Garouk. Oh, there So you let's go. see. We got Garouk, Chandra, Lilian. Well, no, no, it's got Liliana yet. We, we got do have Teferi. Teferi. Yeah, don't. We got Bastry. <laughs> um, no, no, no. We, 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 we know. We know. We know Teferi with this. Um, I don't even know what art that is. Well, I was telling, you know? yeah, I was telling him the the I was telling Willie before this the regular Teferi I found out this morning has three variations to the emanations that are coming out of them, so they can be white, blue, or purple, and like it, it almost goes in order of uh, like intensity and outwardness. Oh my goodness! Yeah, so, I mean they're all the same price, all the regular Teferis, but collectors are gonna love that, like having three different variations for the same card. So we're missing what two planeswalkers out of the whole set? Ugin and uh, Lily. Lily, yeah. Yeah, got another showcase island. Here, here's your big dumb green mythic, uh, Elder Gar Gar Gargaroth. Uh, he does things when he attacks or blocks. You can create a token, you can gain life, or you can draw a card. All good things. He has vigilance, reach, and trample, but he doesn't have any sort of protection. Yeah, which is. There's so many good green things with protection, quite your questing it's, beasts and stuff like that. So. It's good and bad at the same time. Yeah. Like, I the, like it, but the well, fact we've been that it spoiled can't do by nothing, green, yeah. right? We got Once Upon a Time, Oko, Veil of Summer, Gilded yeah. Beast, like. Um, Spore Weave, um, Spore Web Weaver, there's a combo with it. There's Terror of the Peaks, and, um, what you call it, um, the Heroic Invention. You have Terror of the Peaks out, you cast him. Heroic Intervention, keep pinging him, make a bunch of 1-1s, one gain a bunch of life. Oh, very cool. But then you pass turn it and the other guy's just like, okay, I play Masker Worm. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, you gain the one life for each and you're losing two. Yeah, it's each, like, yeah. have fun. <laughs> All right. Cool, so we have a foil wind card drag, just your ETB gain life cards. Um, they've been doing a lot of like flyer stuff. This card isn't particularly like anything crazy. I think there's an uncommon in this set that also has to deal with flyers. I actually like that card a lot. Yeah. Because you can sit there and be like, okay, I opt and then I cast it for two. 
three. But yeah, four, well, mana, four mana total instead see, of five, right? Well, no, you cast it for two because it costs three less. Oh, you you take the blue. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah. Okay, you, yeah. You may phase off, and then you're just like, okay, ha ha. <laughs> that, that's actually, that's pretty ridiculous. Yeah. Foil Liliana's devotee. I think he's in Foil Liliana. No, 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 I wish. <laughs> I wish. I still, and that's still like nothing. Like. <laughs> I want this. I want us to have a foil, Liliana. I also want to win. <laughs> you know, so I, no, I, like, even, I even though I got a foil, side. Liliana, like, you, know, you, you've got enough on that side, sir. <laughs> this box is just getting started. I don't know what you're talking about. All right, Animal Sanctuary. You've seen it. You love it. All about those zoo animals. Did we get the mountain yet? If no, not, there it the is. Yeah, there the it is. One. We got it. Nice. Heroic intervention. That was the the other piece of that combo. Nice. You, you, you make Heroic intervention is just a, a solid card too. It was oh like, yeah. Before the set, it, uh, someone was telling me it got to an upwards of like eighteen dollars. It's a good commander staple. Yes. That's where most of these sets have been going lately. It's like, okay, can this be played in commander? Yes. You know, like that's going to be the determining factor. So primal Might, you, you got that earlier. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Make something bigger and dumber. Yep. Uh, Palladium Mirrors in the set. And I think everyone undervalues that card a lot in Limited. Oh, yeah. Three minutes Limited Soul Ring is still a Soul Ring. See the Truth. Okay. Which one's that one? That's the one where you, it's a, it's a sorcery. You look at the top three cards of your library, put one of those cards in your hand, and the rest on the bottom. And this was cast from anywhere other than your hand, put each of those cards in your hand instead. So if you uh, snap back to reality, you yeah. can, like Snapcaster Mage this yeah. thing and just draw three cards. Yep. That's cool. Like it. Oh, did you see the Hardened Scales guy? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He yeah. has Hardened Scales built into him. Yep. It's kind of, which Widening Constrictor pretty much also does, right? So now you have yeah. kind of three of those effects. Uh, foil Maze Mind Tome, talked about this earlier. Nothing nothing super special. People are talking about it, but they don't really know where it fits. Now, people are speculating on this card a lot. Uh, it's so, Mastercore. Yeah. Mastercore is just so good. Yeah, and it's it's a it's a Teferi Hunter, right? Three mana Teferi, it just kind of decimates because it has protection from Planeswalkers. Uh, you do have to discard a card when you play it. That's fine. Uh, one mana, you can deal one damage to target Planeswalker. You can activate that ability multiple times, and you can make him indestructible. So he's oh yeah, it's pretty hard to deal with. I don't know that he's worth money now, but I think people are really speculating on that card. I and think he good, is going. Yeah, answer. he's he's in a well. He answers all the Planeswalkers. Right, the three yeah. mana varies the one we're most yeah. worried about. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. No, absolutely. Um, Got a Garruk's Harbinger. Yeah. Um, this guy tutors up Garruks, pretty much. Yeah, yeah Garruks are creatures. Yeah. You, uh, if you can make him bigger and give him trample, any excess that goes over, yeah. that you you look at that many cards. So mm -hmm. uh, He doesn't have trample built on him, but he does have pro-black, right? Hexproof oh, hexproof from, hexproof from black. Yeah, not yeah. pro-black. Um, yeah. Been much better. <laughs> that would have been way better. Right. But he's a good mutate target. He is a good mutate. Island. Okay, we got ourselves um, regular containment priest. So I'll put that over here because I know containment priest is doing some non zero amount of money. Oh, yeah. I need to stop saying that. Non zero amount. It's always correct, though. That's why I, <laughs> yeah. I say it because it's never wrong. Foil Sanctum of Tranquil Light. I think nice. out of all the sanctums, this is probably my favorite art. Yeah, it's a good art. I mean, it's just it's just beautiful. Look, it's it's just, an art it's that like probably should have yeah. been on a planes already. Like, I can see that being a play mat. Yeah. That, that, that'll probably be a play mat. And I got a fiery emancipation. Nice. Yeah, that's that's your triple triple damage on red sources. Yep. Pretty sweet. Like I said, LSD said that he undervalued that card a lot. Have you seen this um, Griffinary? It does work. Uh, so at the beginning of your end step, if you gain three or more life this turn, you get a 2-2. Two, two. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. It, it's... <laughs> It's super two, two, good. Two, yeah, three. like you, you, you get a win. Yeah, drink. You, you you get a drink. I mean, it's a Griffin, but it, it's a win. It's a win drink. Give us Luminar Ascension. Like if you want to do life gain stuff, give us Luminar Ascension back in standard. <laughs> and um, that a, what? Isn't that a quest? You know, I mean, like we got the opportunities. Um, 
Oh, Zendikar. Yeah, yeah Zendikar. Yeah. He's got a temple. Nothing to... Heroic mm -hmm. Intervention, uh, this one we were talking about. It was like 18 before this. I don't know what it's worth right now. We're going to tally all this up at the end. Uh, the great Commander Sable. Every green deck should play it. Uh, Kite Cell Freebooter is a uh, Corset Staple now. Yes. Is, or I hope it stays a Corset Staple. It should. Duress on a creature, pretty nice. You got the Sublime Epiphany as well. Nice, your six mana cryptic. Yep. The card that ends the turn, the blue card, yes. it, it ends the turn for two mana if it's your turn and six mana if it's your opponent's turn. Yep. I think that's going to become a commander staple. I don't think people realize how good ending the turn is. Because it ends oh. the stack. Oh, yeah. Like, yeah. Sundial the Infinite? Yes. Yeah. No, yeah, 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 yeah. You know what I mean? I'm, I'm all about that. All right. We got another temple. Not really what we're looking for, but they'll keep printing them and people will keep playing them, so... There's Greeks Uprising. Uh, this is another one of those cards. Like I said, any card that has a Planeswalker's name on it, you can pull them that kind of, they're, they're specialized frame. Neither of us have gotten a Cultivate, right? The full, no, I've got, oh, no, not art. the full art yeah. Cultivate. No, well, that one's yeah, you would have known that. Um, Teferi's Aegis Insight. Um, whenever, if you would draw a card, except for the first one, you would draw each turn, each of your, in each of your draw steps, draw two cards instead. Oh. Okay. So it's kind of it's it's, it's, it's an something. enchantment version of like I can see not like, really um it's it's gonna be seen in EDH uh, sure you know sure that. I like your yeah. your locust god wants it and yeah all, all that different stuff we have treasure token uh we have foil green sanctum Ooh. which I just fell in love with this artwork because I haven't seen it yet Ooh. <laughs> that is it's hot yeah that is <laughs> that's really really pretty um. Oh, okay. Yeah, they uh, did a card based off Moby Dick, just in case anyone didn't know. <laughs> There's, it literally creates a useless human token on your opponent's side that has to attack each turn and can't block. And it creates it's like a three of them, doesn't it? Huh? Maybe like three of them? No, it's A11 one, one red, oh. red pirate creature <laughs> token. <laughs> I got this card in limited. It's disgusting. The Susan Lost But Seeking. Oh, there you go. There's a hit. With, yeah. Haven't yeah. had a hit in a, hit in a bit. Yeah, I haven't. Yeah. <laughs> the Azusa solid reprint. It's seeing insane amounts of modern play, um, and who knows in standard with your Euro ramp decks and everything that's going on. Uh, this one he just talked about, the Fairy's Ageless Insight. Draw two cards instead of one. Go to sleep. Weird. <laughs> Oh, the weird token. Is, yeah. That's actually a beautiful token. Yeah, it is. Necromentia. Ah. This card name other than the base clan. They get two two name. zombies. Search target opponent's graveyard, hand and library for any number of cards with that name and exile them. Oh. So there was the one, was it Lost Ooh, Legacy, where yeah. they draw cards for each one? They draw was cards it? from each that was taken out of their hand. Yeah, so they yeah. It's, if it hits a resource that they would have otherwise had, then they get some replacement resource. It's kind of the way they're doing these cards that take cards from your opponent. Yeah, but the cool thing is, just like Lost Legacy, this is only, like, they get the tokens only if they had it in their hand. Exactly, exactly. So... Yeah, uh, like that's that's actually here's your your chaos warp, uh, your sorcery speed four mana chaos warp is essentially what the card is, right? Yeah, doesn't do anything. Yeah, doesn't really do anything different. And then like, uh, well, it's it's you can only it only hits a creature that creature's controller re uh, reveals until they hit a creature. So it has to be a creature. It's not just permanent like chaos warp. Yeah. Uh, so it's worse and maybe better. It's probably some more. sort of combo deck. It's so, probably more. Yeah. Yeah. It's red polymorph, and the uh, fun thing about it, um, somebody played against that, played that against me at the pre-release, and I'm just like, oh, well, Grasp of Darkness, which is in this set too. Yeah, Grasp of Darkness. Oh, um, red and black has so <laughs> much removal in this set, like just as colors. Uh, and then I got Veto, like we were saying, that's kind of half of your combo in EDH. You can put it in your command zone, and people are freaking out about that. So something. Worth noting. And yep, uh, that this is my the end of the row for me. Double vision. Double vision. It'll see. Oh, it'll oh. see EDH yeah, but yeah, yeah, that's yeah. yeah. Any any cards that have kind of sort of exuberant effects tend to be uh, you'll see in EDH more than anything else. Yep, I'm so. gonna take this L. 
<laughs> we stuff. haven't tallied yet. You, you, you can probably tell me all this, and that's a fairy will beat it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, I mean, that that's going to be it for now. We're going to come back with the totals and see, you know, where we're at. Because who knows? <laughs> All right, the results are in. We've opened up the boxes. We've pulled some uh, some pretty spicy cards. He pulled a little more spice than me, but I think mine might be spicier individually. We're gonna see, we'll see. We'll look at the numbers and uh, we'll come right back and see what happened. Oh man, what a slaughter. <laughs> yeah, I'm about to, like third I'm so, pack in. It was just like, you pulled I, that Teferi and it was just like, okay, I'm thanks so for sorry. coming. <laughs> you know, like. <laughs> no, honestly, honestly though, Willie, thank you. Thank you. Oh so much man, for I loved it. Um, I loved it. Yeah, it was a pleasure. We're going to continue to do this with every set. What did you think about Corset 2021? Corset 2021, I'm, it's one of the best corsets in a long time, I in my agree. opinion. Yeah, um, absolutely. That Teferi is going to put in a lot of work for a lot of decks. Um, it's, it's not I'm just so, the Teferi. I, I like the fact that the corset, we kind of highlighted this in the when we were unboxing the cards i like that the core set has a lot of staples things that can deal with stuff your uro has been a problem yes in standard so i think a lot of this set is made to kind of fix those problems three to fairy you know like there's yeah. so many like good staple cards that in this set kind of for standard, down a but also yeah. like good commander stuff like there's so many good commander cards yeah, they, they have been they've been catering commander players yes. pretty, pretty heavily which yes, i don't i don't mind i recently got in the commander myself so i'm hey. excited uh, but yeah, thank y'all for tuning in. Thank you for joining us. Uh, all these singles that you saw us open, all the beautiful Teferi, the uh, the various other Planeswalkers. We didn't get a Nugent, unfortunately. I really wanted it. But uh, I'll, I'll, I'll set up the Teferi. Um, <laughs> all those singles are going to be live at edengames.com uh, come Friday morning. So feel free to check that out and uh, snap them up while they're available. Thank awesome. y'all so much. Also, if you're in the area, come through and play a game. Yeah, I'll absolutely. be here all the time too, so... I'll let you boy. Yeah, located on the corner of 59 and 1960 over by Italianas and Papa John's. Check us out. Thank you. Are we live? You're live, so pause for about five seconds and then right. go. Hey everybody, welcome to Eden MTG Head to Head. Uh, what, we're, what we'll be doing today is, uh, first off, I'm Chad. Stop. Yeah. You, I, no, I forgot no. that whole intro. Okay. Pause for five seconds. Yeah. Restart. Hey, everybody. Welcome to Edden MTG Head to Head. I'm Chad. And I'm Willie, a.k.a. Big Willie. Uh, the luck master. Alrighty. All right. All right. Let's crack some packs. Okay. That was pretty good, except... You kind of ended up with like an awkward turkey kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so let's give it a shot. Pause. Okay. Five seconds. Let's do it again. Hey, everybody. Let's Already. crack some packs. Let's do it. Okay, one more time. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. One more time. One more time. You guys are getting getting it down and getting right, it down. Right. Let's give it just a couple so takes on A couple takes. It doesn't cost us anything. All right, it's not cool. like we're burning film. Sure. Okay, pause for... Pause for Two <clears throat> seconds and then go for it. Hey everybody, welcome to Edden MTG Head to Head. My name is Chad. And I'm Willie, aka Big Willie. I thought that today, since Corset 2021 releases this Friday, that we would crack some boxes open and just see who gets the better box. You ready? Let's do it. Let's crack some packs. Okay. Cool about that one. Oh. Uh, it was pretty good. It's pretty good. Count to three and then right. go. All right, so the results are in. Uh, let's kind of take all the, let's just restart. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so tired. All right. It's all good, it's all good. Space yourself a little bit yeah. more, by the way. Because you're, yeah, it's like you're, you're, yeah, there we go. Cool. That is better, yeah. Because you have her like crowded over on this yeah, side of the shot. Sure. Yeah, perfect. Perfect. All right, the results are in. We've opened.